Welcome back to the program. Buddha, Mind and Body is the book that we've been referencing today. Now, Nicholas, I know you have a new book that is coming out that we're going to let the audience know about. And uh, it, this is a book that focuses on strategy called Strategy in Japanese Swordmanship. Tell me, um, what is it that most people don't understand about the strategy of swordmanship? I'm sure it's not easy to sum up, but what little pointer comes to mind? The main pointer that comes to mind is that it's not only about trying to cut the opponent while you avoid getting cut, but it's also about perfection of character. And so in my book, I detail how those two goals simultaneously get developed by the student over a lifetime of careful practice. I like that. I like all the dimensions to, to this art form. The book that I was going to tell you about is uh, by Catherine Gauvier. She's a Canadian novelist, and it's called Three Views of Crystal Water. And it, um, it, it features um, a man who not only knew the ancient um, Chinese art form, but also specialized in making the swords, very special swords, which I know is an art form in itself. Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a great book. It was the first time I had a sense of sort of the spiritual dimension to this art form, which you've talked about today. So for you, where do you aspire to at this point in your life, just to keep getting better, to, to be sort of like a higher, as I would call it, sort of master in the art form? Or what, what do you aspire to as you look to those that have gone before you who are getting older? Well, that's a big part of why I continue to train. But more important to me is helping other people. Uh, I find I'm not so motivated to get better myself anymore, but I'm very motivated by helping people who are just coming up in their lives and want to develop the qualities that we can teach through swordsmanship, like a spiritual calmness or mental focus. Um, and it's very rewarding to find someone come in who maybe has a lot of tr struggles in their life, and then after two or three years, you know, they report to me that indeed they've achieved a lot of the goals that we're trying to trying to capture. How many people would be in class? What would a typical class size be? A uh, typical class in my school would be eight or ten students. Okay. Uh, when you have that many people in, in a room with swords, yeah. it's very crowded. Yeah, that's true. I was just thinking all of a sudden, <laughs> I was like, yeah, add the sword, you know, sort of space that's consumed, and uh, you wouldn't want to pack too many people in because there could be accidents with people learning the form. Right. Thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and uh, an art form I now know more about, and uh, something I think is, is definitely great for young people today. So thank my you for joining My great pleasure. Thank great. you. Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Voices of Religion. We hope you'll join us again for another one.